Hi and welcome to this video where we are doing interval notation. In our previous video we had a look at sets and a set we said was a collection of numbers and the way in which we uh, described or wrote a set was with set notation which uses curly brackets and I would say for example that um, I'm looking at all the numbers that are real numbers okay and given that those real numbers are greater or equal to 3 okay so this was one way of describing a set of numbers with set notation and if if I was um, if I had a number I could have said y can take on any value in the set now when we talk about interval notation, interval notation is just another way of writing this but it's specific to real numbers. We only use interval notation for real numbers and here is how I would write this. Well actually before I get there let me give you some things okay. It's only for real numbers. Okay, round brackets is for included, is for included limits, okay, so for example, the smallest value that x can take in this limit is 3, uh, in this uh, set is 3, so 3 is a limit, it is a lower limit, and it is included okay and I made a mistake is not for included limits it's for excluded limits sorry about that round brackets are for excluded limits while square brackets okay I don't know should this be is or are I don't know for included included limits okay so we use this for example would be all of the numbers if I were to draw this on a number line okay there's my number line there's three and uh, we looked at how to draw we'll look at how to draw this um, in the next video as well but all of the videos uh, um, all of the numbers greater than three is three is included we use a, a solid dot for that you'll get to learn a little bit more about that a little bit later on and all of the numbers greater than that okay so this is all of the numbers greater than that so what we'll do is we'll say for this one that X or in this case it's actually Y Y is an element from 3 to infinity okay 3 to infinity this can be a comma or a semicolon in South Africa we use a semicolon 3 is included because it's a solid dot so we use a square bracket because it's included infinity can never be included because we can never actually get to infinity so infinity will always have a round bracket so this is just a way of writing all of the numbers from 3 to infinity that are real okay so I can have something like this let's look at the different ways I can I can go from negative infinity sorry negative infinity up to a value a okay and a is excluded and negative infinity is always excluded so this would be that x is gr smaller than a so you can see x is smaller than a means everything less than a okay so we go all the way from and you can almost look at this as the direction in which it's pointing everything in the negative direction okay up to a but a is excluded because it's not equal to then I could have had negative inf infinity up to a where a is included this would be x is less than or equal to a okay then we can have um, let's say from a to B where a and B is excluded 
Okay, so this would be x is larger than a, but x is smaller than b. So all of the values between a and b, none of them included. If it was a comma b, b included, it would be a less than x is greater than a, but x is smaller and equal to b. So remember how we read this. We read from the x in this direction. We see x is larger because he's on the larger side of a. And if we read from x towards b, we see x is on the smaller side of my sign. So x is smaller than b. Okay. It can also look like this. I can include a and exclude b. So a is smaller or equal to x or x is larger or equal to a but x is smaller than b or the other way of writing it another possibility might be a comma b where both of them are included obviously this now would be a is less than equal to x which is less than equal to b okay two more to go we can say okay well maybe we have the numbers from b up to infinity where b is excluded infinity will always be excluded this would be x is larger than b so x is greater than b because we're looking at all the numbers from b onwards okay this time b is not included as you can see if it was a square bracket up to infinity this is what it would look like I really think this is very simple. I hope you feel the same. Um, it's not going to be a long video. I'm going to stop here and not even do many examples. Um, but this, the point being that this is uh, interval notation. Interval notation uses brackets where the round brackets are for not excluded. Sorry, not included or excluded. And the square bracket is for included limits. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.